Hi everyone, um, welcome to my tutorial class. Sorry I haven't posted a video in a while because I have been sick. So today I'm going to teach you how to um, do 3D typography. So I'm going to try to make this as short as possible. So the first thing you want to do as usual is delete this sphere. Okay, so you click on the network icon and then delete. We're going to bring in a plane. So look under the primitives and then select plane. And then we want this to face us, so just click on the snap tool, which is on your left panel, and then just use your fingers, just do that once, bring it towards you. And then the maths looking icon, just reduce the density, let's say about 41, then validate, okay? Then subdivide just four, five times. So again, it's bringing our 3D typography. Just click on the, you know, go towards the right panel and just scroll down. Look for the stamp tool. And then click on the pen icon. You see alpha, click on alpha, the square parts. And then just click on the plus photos. Now you should see your typography in, um, in your photos, right? Now you can bring in any text you like. I might leave this text, the one I'm using right now, in the description box. But you can bring any text you like from Figma, Procreate, whatever um, tool you have or software you have. But make sure it's in black and white. And just cancel. So I already have mine here. I'm just going to click on one and then just scale it to make it a little bit big. Excuse me. And then scroll down. You see fall off. You don't want fall off like this. To so click on the square parts and then the rectangle parts rather. And then click on the one that is just straight line. Scroll down. Sorry, I sound like this. Um, I have a flu. Then just click on the connected topology. Yeah. Remove symmetry. And then. And this is the face front. Just draw it out. Okay. Now that I've drawn it out, I'm just going to answer the right side. So you can just click on this this um, square. Just click on the right and then skin straight right like that. Now again, search for the trim tool and then select the rectangle. So it's going to give us a rectangle trim and just draw it out like that. So remove the plane. So there we have it. That's our text and we're done. Okay. But I mean, as usual, you can paint whatever paints you want. You to paint again, select just scroll to the right panel, and then you see paint, and then come to the right to the left panel, and then you see a ball. Just click on the ball, and then just select whatever color you want. Me, I like the refraction. So to get the refraction, which actually makes objects transparent. You can click on the material icon, which is just up there, and then click on refraction. Yeah. So it gives like this transparent look to so it. See that? Absorption. So just play around with it and find what you like. So because the um so I had you forgotten how to smoothen these parts out. Although you could actually change it to if you don't like this parts, this um because I don't I don't mind it. But if you don't if you don't like this lines, you can actually you know um convert dry planner and then it's going to smoothen it out for you. Okay, now maybe not this text because this text is two together, but I'll do that in another video. So, um, yeah, so just play around with this text, okay, and increase the surface, closeness, whatever color you want, you can actually put. Just paint all. Easy, and then once you're done painting and doing everything, you know, just click on post processing um icon, 
just select that and then you can actually like customize um whatever you want the bloom the tone mapping as usual the green see mine i've already selected some settings already which is why it's like this mm -hmm. and then also you know you can also customize the lightning the lights just click on the lights icon and you can add lights you can also you know use hdris if you check my last video i actually posted a link to free hdris so you can just click on presets and just so you can you just lots of things you can do so yeah that's that's all for that's all for now so thank you for watching and please do let me know if this video is useful to you please don't forget to subscribe like share i would really appreciate it and you know have a wonderful weekend week whenever <laughs> but just stay awesome right so bye